afternoon guys. How are you doing? Hope you are doing well. So today I've come to McKinley Hill to check out this area because I've not been here for over three years and this is one of the most coolest spots you must come if you ever come to Manila. And if you came here at night too, it is really nice for taking pictures uh, and uh, seeing the Christmas decorations, especially at this time of year. So to show you guys where I am right now, so this is the water fountain when you come to McKinley Hill. It is really, really nice here. So that is the entrance you'll be coming into when you arrive here. And to come here from the Red Planet Hotel uh, in Makati, where I'm staying at, will cost you 300 pesos. And it will take you about 30 minutes to get here, which ain't too bad. So when you arrive here too, at this time of the year, you're gonna get a lot of uh, Christmas music being played out. So when you arrive here, you, you'll see quite a few like um, stalls on here. Uh, you've got a fairground around in the far corner and you'll find quite a few retail shops, quite a few restaurants here. So you've got the Gilligan's in the far corner here. If we come here, we've got the back door restaurant bar and gulla on this side here, which is not very busy at the moment. And uh, if you check out the tower here, it's uh, really nice of the clock there too and if you look along on this side here too just check out the architect there guys it is really nice here so it's one of the places you must come and visit if you come to mckinley hill you know it's a perfect opportunity to take pictures uh you've got hugo bikes in the far corner we've got the cal Balabamba restaurant along this side here. Uh, I came here over three years ago and I did some really nice uh, Mexican food there. Uh, we've got a vacant stall on this side here. So hopefully there will be some more restaurants going there soon. We've got the Seafood Island North Shore Grill along this side here. So that's just to show you the, this area particularly. So we're gonna go inside now and uh, we're gonna show you the, the little Venice inside uh, McKinley Hill. So we're inside the McKinley Hill now and when you get to this area here, you get a very nice uh, view of the canal and uh, just as we speak, uh, we can see uh, some people enjoying the ride on the boat. Uh, I'm not entirely sure on uh, prices of uh, how much they are. Uh, sorry about the noise, there's a plane flying over. Uh, but you get a good view shot here of all the restaurants and, uh, and establishments around this area. So we've got Uncle Sheffy Prime in this particular area. And if we walk through here too, you'll get a view from this side here too as well. And uh, there's a few market stalls along there too, which is pretty decent. So we're gonna go for a little wonder and uh, check out this area. Um, down here you've got um, TGI Fridays, which is pretty good. And if you want to know the pricing of how much it is to eat here, and uh, these are the prices. <clears throat> so if you want to check out the prices, uh, please pause the video. You've got the fish curl seafood in, in uh, a pan. So there's another restaurant there, and uh, you've got the prices here too. Mm -hmm. 
we've got the modern Shanghai. So this is the menu of their restaurant right here. So you're not short of restaurants along this side here. You know, there's plenty of places where you can uh, eat at. You got Wan's Bichos right here too. in front we've got the peri peri charcoal chicken and uh, sauce bar all on this side here and uh, if you like your steaks 6.95 just wait for these people to pass and I'll show you guys the menu yeah so that's 6.95 there and if you want to check out the menu uh, check out the prices right there So it looks like there's going to be a U restaurant opening there soon. And uh, if we go to the top, you've got uh, McDonald's. Well, actually, let's go and check it out now. See if there's any more uh, restaurants I can show you guys before we continue down this way. So we've got a Watson's, we've got a McDonald's, uh, we've got Buddies right here. And to check out prices, pause the video if you want to check out prices for that. Um, if you want to get a, a drink, you've got the lemon juice bar right here. And from this side here, it's quite a nice view. So, that is the view there. Very, very nice, isn't it? And looks like that's gonna be a restaurant down there soon as well. So, from what I've gathered so far, some of the vacant places here, they're gonna be turned into restaurants, which is pretty good. Uh, but it just goes to show what COVID has done to some businesses around here, you know, it's affected them. Uh, so it's good now, we're getting back to life again now. Uh, we've got the Shakers pizza all on this side here. So if you like your pizzas, uh, then this is the place right here. So if you guys want um, coconut juice, then you can go to Buko Twist. So Buko means coconut. So that could be a good place for you if you want to have some coconut juice. So you can see McDonald's, Jollibee. Uh, you've got Denny's down there. Mamaloo's, Starbucks and there's more places along the E2 where you can uh, eat and uh, dine at uh, If you guys want to get a haircut you've got the Sir George Salon right there um, Looks like it's for ladies only uh, We've got Zach Burgers uh, I'm not a particular fan of Zach Burgers because I had one before in um, at the Asia Mall, the Moa in uh, Pasai here. and uh, I wasn't a fan of their burgers uh, but that's just my opinion, that was over three years ago so they might have changed by then you've got the Ramai Kuroda all on this side here So that's the entrance into the mall. If you want to check out some uh, shops and stuff along there. 
and uh, at, at night this will be all lit up which will be pretty good uh, you've got a few more restaurants inside here too and uh, it's busy down here so it's lunchtime and uh, this is one of the most famous places if you're a Filipina uh, Mike Mike in in a cell so they do all Filipino food there and we just see how busy it is here so this is one of the most famous Filipino restaurants if you come to the Philippines And right here is your selfie station, right here. Uh, we've got Taco Bell, if you like your, your burritos. Uh, they're everywhere around the world now. There's even one in the UK, in America, Thailand. So that's a, a franchise thing there. And uh, yeah, that's it. That's that's most of the restaurants I've shown you. So that's just a view right there. So that's just a quick tour of uh, what restaurants and uh, bars and uh, what I have here at the McKinley Hill. So I'm going to get some lunch now, find something to eat, and then uh, have a few beers. So for lunch, I decided to come to a Filipino restaurant called uh, Inasal, which is very, very pop popular with the locals here. So I've gone for a chicken Inasal. Um, if you don't want it with a drink, it'll cost you 95 pesos. If you want with a drink, it'll cost you 99 pesos. So I've ordered one with a drink, which has cost me 99 pesos. And uh, I've also ordered four pork sticks, uh, barbecue. So that will be... 20 minutes wait or maybe less than that just depends so from a total bill to eat here has cost me 257 pesos and 14 so it's inexpensive so you don't have to always eat western food when you come to the philippines and it's always good to eat local food, local food too because you know if you eat western food all the time then it can be quite expensive so it's good to eat embrace local food as well as uh, the foods that they have here so my lunch has now arrived after about a 15 minute wait so we've got the chicken in a cell so we've got rice the chicken uh, we've got a bit of lime there and uh, we've got some sauces here too and uh, that is the pork which I just ordered and uh, I've got some iced tea right here too so let's um, Let's give it a try, shall we? Mm, that is really, really nice. I actually like it. Mm. It's a thumbs up for the for the pork. It's really nice. Nice and ten nice and tender. I do like the flavour. The only thing is though, it's quite messy, so you've got to watch out for that. So we've got the chicken in the cell right here. So I'm just going to squeeze a bit of lime onto the chicken here, and uh, onto the mice too. So we're going to try the chicken and the rice now. Mm. That is delicious. That is nice. I mean, you've got all the dipping sauces here too. See that there. And you've got this one here too. So, yeah, so if you're not afraid of trying locals, Cuisine, then uh, come to Inasol, guys. You know, this 
question. It's all over the Philippines, so it's inexpensive, nice food, and it's grilled as well. And it's just got such a nice flavor. So I can see why this is one of the most popular places to come for locals here, because the food is really good, inexpensive, affordable. Uh, you might have to wait about 10, 15 minutes, but for good food, you have to wait for that. up McKinley Hill. Hope you guys have enjoyed the walking around of uh, seeing some of the places where you can eat and dine at. This probably for me is one of the good places to come if you're looking to have some nice food, uh, have a few drinks etc. Especially at night here. If you go inside the mall here there is a little food hall you can check out. There's a SNR pizza too and there's a Watson's and there's a there's a supermarket here too. So that's just to give you a bit of information for you there. Uh, for the manga in Salvation, highly recommend it guys. Full marks, 5 out of 5. The food in there is amazing and it's not expensive either. Uh, they do accept contact lists as well, which is pretty good if you're looking to avoid using cash all the time. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks a lot for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy, God bless, and hope to see you guys on the next one.